All right. Hey, this is Jared Newman from the Hunt League mobile app. I am here today to talk to you about our spring turkey league uh, that we have got going on with EAA Corp. They've got the MC312 Gobbler uh, shotgun that they are putting into this. So I actually have invited Chase from EAA to jump in and join us. If you're not familiar with Hunt League, Hunt League is a mobile app that works as a field journal out uh when you're out in the field, you can log, record all the details of your hunt. It grabs your timestamp, it grabs GPS location, you can add picture, video, audio, notes, and way more. Um, and with everything you log, there's a point system attached to it, so you have the ability to kind of earn points, which then allows us to connect and compete in leagues. So if you are new to the Hunt League app and you just downloaded it, you're on the home screen right here. I can click this button, uh, the menu up top, hit the leagues page. It's going to take me to leagues. Um, you can see right here, here's our spring turkey league. This spring turkey league, we've got several new partners. Uh, EAA sponsoring this with their uh, MC312 Gobbler shotgun, which we're going to show and feature here in just one moment. Uh, Burris is throwing in one of their brand new Fast Fire 4 Red Dots. Um, we've got Cane Break. They're doing a custom call uh, they're for, you know, the, the winner of this league that also includes 12 of their diaphragms, uh, two different uh, types of slates, uh, a custom one that's specific for Hunt League. We've got a, a, a ground blind. Remington is involved throwing in uh, some of their tungsten super shot TSS ammo, really the best shotgun ammo that you can buy for turkey. So here's your different sponsors. That's what you're looking for. But without any further ado, let me introduce you to Chase from EAA. Chase, welcome. What's going on, man? How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm super excited uh, to do this Turkey League. Last year, we had a bunch of Hunt League folks that were uh, wanting to do this Turkey League. And, you know, we didn't really have time to throw it together. We didn't have Android built out in the app. At this point, it's like, man, we are we are full tilt. We are ready to go. Android folks, iOS folks, everybody can download. Everybody can compete wherever you're at in the country. Uh, you're down in Florida, is that right? That's it. So, are you guys yeah. are you guys hunting turkey right now? No, we won't get it till the 18th of March where we're at. Okay, so we're in like, we're in that north of the State Road 70 zone. Okay, so and but like north. down south, like the Osceolas and stuff like that, further south, those ones are fair game, right? Isn't it? Aren't they mid February? starts i think it starts i think they pushed it back a little bit i think it starts march 4th now okay all right so turkey season's literally right there turkey season's upon us come on now i'm excited there's man about some, there's about to be some dead thunder chickens around here <laughs> some dead but all right chase how do you i mean it sounds like you've uh you've done some turkey hunting yourself you you an avid oh, turkey man. fan oh yeah i do i do I was a later in life turkey fan, but kind of once you get involved with it, it kind of it kind of takes over. Like, you know, a lot of southeastern United States is where I'm from. So, you know, deer hunting was always the thing. But yeah. once you get involved, like, you know, playing around with duck hunting, I was, you know, you get pretty involved in that real quick. Turkey hunting, same way. Once you get that bug, you just want to start chasing them. And, you know, chasing Easterns. And now in this area, you have a chance at Easterns or Osceola. It's a pretty, it's a pretty unique environment. Yeah, that's that's really fun. I mean, out here where I live in Colorado, if I drive just a little bit, I say to my right, but if I drive out east just a little bit, I can get into some yeah. of those Rios, uh, you know, but then I'm, I have Merriam's that'll come through my yard sometimes. So I'm kind of yeah. right in that cross section of Rio and Merriam right at the foothills yeah. uh, in Colorado. So um, what's your favorite thing about turkey hunting? What is it that gets you hooked? I mean, I like, honestly, I like getting out in the woods and just enjoying it in general. But man, once they, it's just something about like, we're hearing one hammer in the distance and you just, you know, it's on like when they, one starts talking to you and you know, it's on, that's, that's where it's at. Like you, you get that pound and go and you're like, all right, it's, it's time to play. Yeah. It's that, to me, it's that moment where, you know, maybe you've heard that gobble and you know, one's close, but you don't know, yeah. you don't know how close and they've shut up or something. And it's like, I don't yep. know. And then all of a sudden you hear maybe not the gobble, but you hear that little drum or, you know, yeah. that you know, that those feathers are dragging, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, it's on. I can't see it, but like, and especially when you get one that's like relatively close, you can hear the drum and you can almost feel it, but you just can't see yeah. them. Yes. 
Yeah. I mean, they're, they're doing something there and it's, it's putting out some kind of yep. sound wave thing. And it's like, you feel it. And it's like, yep. and I don't know if that's just my adrenaline that kicks into overdrive. Cause uh, man, it is, it, it's pretty fun. And that season is upon us. Like I got into hunting really with elk hunting. Um, and I look at like, you know, when you're bugling and going back and forth with an elk, you know, like oh, yeah. talking Turkey gives you a little bit of that same kind of sense of like, Oh my gosh, yeah. this, this animal is screaming back at me right now. Yeah, he's bad. He's boy. He's ready to fight. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, we can talk turkey too long, but let's, let's dive into this. You know, it's funny every time I say it, it's like the EAA Gerson MC312 Gobbler. It's like the longest name I could ever come up with for a shotgun. But Chase, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you full screen because I want you to show us a little bit about this gun. Tell us about it, because uh, it's it's pretty sick. So this is our Gerson MC312 Gobbler. I'm going to see if I can back up just a little bit so everybody <laughs> gets a good view of all this. So this is our 24-inch, inertia-driven, three-and-a-half-inch chamber turkey murdering machine. Woo! That's Cerakoted. That that thing is beautiful. Is. So, so Cerakote, basically it's a... It's like a flat dark earth you see it a little better in the lighting in here there you go yeah so it's a it's a darker brown it works really well in the woods um camo these are actually switching out to more of a bottomland style camo on these so as the ones you're gonna start seeing ship will all be more of a bottomland style camo okay nurture driven gun three and a half inch um it's a you know 24 inch barrel is perfect for turkey it's an easy swing in it's a really fast moving shotgun you're not gonna get hung up in brush or anything like that we did a mobile choke in these, so all the aftermarket chokes, you know, turkey guys are really specific on, you know, I'm a Jeff yep. guy or a rhino guy or I like old jelly heads or whatever. All the standard choke companies that make anything out there specific for turkey all fits that mobile. I mean, we comes with our turkey choke in there, but I know yep. how turkey guys are, especially running TSS and that kind of stuff now. Yeah. There's tons of options out there for it. I know whoever wins this is going to be running some pretty sick ammo. So uh, yep. that's pretty fun. I do really like the way that you guys built your red dot attachment. That's the red dot that comes standard in the package. That's Correct. not the first one that's included in the package. But that actually, you have a really unique rail system that actually keeps that optic really close. That's yeah, what I was going to look at that. Thank you, Nick pull it off real quick so you can see the rail. So we did an integral rail into the receiver itself. The whole point of that is you're not picking your head up off the gun anymore, especially over turkey hunters. Everybody knows when you throw the gun up, traditionally the red dot, everybody's face immediately came up off the gun. Yep. Shoot a three and a half inch 12 gauge that way. It's not a real fun experience. This no. keeps your face down. You're planted. Whether you do the standard stock or we offer in a pistol grip as well, your face is down on the gun where it's supposed to be. You're not picking your head up. You're taking a much more accurate shot. And that's a more pleasant experience when you pull the trigger. Absolutely. Like that was one of the things that caught my eye. I was like, cause typically when you're mounting a red dot or doing something on that, you're having to add a rail, which adds height. And then you're clipping it to a rail and you're just stacking, stacking, stacking. And then you're, you're two inches above kind of the barrel looking down. So I, I think, I think your guys, system is absolutely brilliant. And one other thing you said, you said, you know, this is an inertia driven gun. When people think of inertia, they think of, you know, Benelli's action. They think of, you know, like the super black Eagle is kind of what people think of when they think of an inertia driven shotgun. So what you're doing, you guys are offering an inertia driven system, which everybody's familiar with in, in this package. Exactly. It's an extremely similar system. I mean, the, the actions are very, very similar but you're getting that known reliability of an inertia gun at a third of the price. I mean, these are retail $740 shotguns. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's a great, that's a great value. I mean, you can pay 1800 or 2000. Yeah. I mean, you can, <laughs> you know, you uh, there's a turkey gun now and it's over two grand or, yeah. or most, you know, and well, I mean, even the, even the, some of the other companies, especially Turkey Guns, are all floating around that fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar plus ballpark. Whereas you can have a gun that's just as solid, just as reliable, but you're paying half to you know two thirds less. 
Wow. Hey, so tell me this. It's a three and a half inch chamber um, yep. with an inertia driven. Is it really designed for heavier loads or is somebody going to be able to cycle two and three quarter shells, you know, with a size eight? Like, can somebody use this technically really as a rabbit? Like any, like any other inertia gun, doesn't matter whose it is. They need to be shot. They need to be broke in. But once they're broke in, they'll run anything you put through them. I mean, standard field loads, basically anything that's running that 1100 50 feet a second or better range it's going to run it no problem okay the the super super light you know over under specific loads you know yeah. not so much like any inertia gun but everything else it runs it just fine yeah that's awesome um no i'm super excited it's a it's a super versatile weapon i love the the way that the red dot mounts to it love the inertia driven people are going to love how that feels in their shoulder because it really handles recoil incredibly well um and it's just straight up a beautiful looking gun yeah, it's a really good gun it handles super well it points real fast it's just i mean for the for a woods gun it's an easy easy gun to run yeah i do like the 24 inch thing um you know, especially like if you're in, you know, a lot of turkey guys are hunting from inside a blind and you've got a big 28 inch long barrel that makes it really difficult to kind of get up and not have to stick out the window or those things. Just that extra couple inches is going to make a difference. Can't move in a blind. A lot of guys are fan hunting now. So if you're trying to run a gun and sneak up behind a fan, you can't do that with a 28 inch shotgun. That's what you need a shorter barrel for. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, anything else you want to cover on the EAA Gerson MC312 Gobbler. That's it, man. I've, the best thing to do is anybody want to see more info on them, you know, hit our website up, eacorp.com, and it's got all the info for all the 312 models right there on it. No, excited. Well, if you're watching this video and you haven't joined the Turkey League, jump in the Turkey League. It's running this spring, goes all the way to May 31st. I know there's a few of you states that kind of trickle into June, but this is a spring Turkey League. Once June hits, we're calling it summer. So uh, you got to jump in now. Uh, you have a couple of extra weeks uh, to jump in because we know turkey season doesn't start for a lot of folks until April, maybe even May. So uh, ends May 31st. We'll have judges from the different companies represented that are going to choose one winner uh, probably that first week of June. And uh, that winner is going to get an incredible turkey prize package. Absolutely. These things, I mean, they're fantastic, fantastic values for the money. They just absolutely work. They are, that's what it's for. It's a workhorse. It's designed for the everyday average guy to be able to buy one, go out, run it hard. And it just, it function every time. 